Hey everyone, it's Ayla here. Today I'm going to be making a short video on how to run my gold farming bot on Wizard101. You'll need Winter Tusk unlocked, which is uh, from Grizzleheim, so you have to have Grizzleheim unlocked first, and then you'll get Winter Tusk later on uh, to progress with the storyline. Uh, I also suggest you watch this video because he'll give you a overview of an API that he made, which is uh, it's the Wiz API. Uh, I use the Wiz API for the entire code of mine for the farming bot. Uh, so you should watch his video on uh, how he details pretty much most of it. Uh, also tell you how to edit it properly. I'll also tell you how to add custom AoE spells of yours for the bot to run. Uh, because in my code, it uses that. And in this, you will have to change on your own. It'll show you how to do that, because I don't want to. And after that, uh, you'll also need to fix a little bit of the API itself, because uh, of this one method. Uh, I don't Right here, this method right here. Um, this method uses chords, uh, and a lot of the code uses this, where, for example, a certain coordinate on my game, 17603 is on this potion right here. To use this potion, you need to click at 17603. So for example, if my 17603 is right here, where it highlights the potion, uh, the potion will click and it'll work. Uh, because everyone's monitor is different, your 17603 might be up here, which might now not work. And it makes a huge difference because if the potion did work, it'll give the bot enough mana to run another maybe 200 battles. If it didn't have all that mana, it might run maybe 60. And if you didn't fix that, there'd be a lot of problems. And that might happen for uh, some other parts of the code too. So I suggest that you watch this video and then you look through his API and you try to fix it on your own. Uh, if you can't, I hope you, when I have time, just write it in the comments and then I'll get back to you. Uh, for now, I'll just go over my bot and I'll show you how it works. So after you fix this part mainly, uh, I think that's about it. That and this part, then you should be good. So I'll show you how the bot runs. Uh, you have two ways of running it. You can run it by double clicking uh, go.py, which will open a terminal and run the bot automatically for you. Uh, the only problem is um, the bot will put all its outputs in this terminal in real time for you, which is good. But the problem is if you are going to bed and leaving the bot running uh, and there's a problem that happens, the bot will keep going, but you'll need the bot to stop because you can't read the data if the bot isn't stopped. But when you stop the bot, the data is all gone because the terminal closes. So that's why I recommend you do this way instead where you open up a CMD. Uh, you go to where you type in CD and then the uh, file path of where Gold Farm is, which for me it's in. Then after that, you type in gold.py uh, space uh, greater than space output.txt. Uh, what this does is it puts all the output that should have been on the terminal now into the file. So when something does happen, uh, uh, if you wake up and then you find something did happen, you close the bot, then you can go into output.txt, and then you'll see uh, the entire things that happened, all the data, then you could pinpoint where it went wrong, and then you could fix it from there. Uh, that's what I had to do a lot. So I'll show you the output file later. I have to run the bot first. Uh, so I'll just give you a one round demo of it. Then I'll show you the file, and then we'll pretty much be done.
and that's about it. So uh, if you want to slide your bot, just hit Control C. Just click on the terminal, then hit Control C. Uh, I'll show you my output file. Uh, you can see that. Uh, okay, I'll reopen it just because I don't know why everything was highlighted already, but that was. But uh, you can see here, as soon as I started the bot, it printed round one, and then it was entering the dungeon. You saw the timer start. While the timer is uh, going, it's checking if you have low mana to use the potion or not. If not, it's waiting to load, and then once it, on the loading screen, it'll say loading, and then it'll say finish loading. Once it's done loading, you're in the cave. It'll move. Uh, it'll say you should be in battle. It'll do it twice again just to check, or once uh, once more just to check and then uh, it'll wait for your turn. Once it's your turn, it'll say it, and then it'll start enchanting your AoE that you put with uh, Epic or whatever enchant card that you decided to use. After that, it'll cast it, and once it, the uh, battle's over, it'll say uh, the elapsed time that it took. Uh, if your battle doesn't finish after it casts one spell, the bot will keep passing so it can use another card. Uh, and it'll do that until it wins. So then after that, it'll exit the dungeon. Say like dungeon exited. Say waiting to load, loading, finish loading. Then as soon as you exit and you're out here again, it'll put you in round two. Or it'll print round two and it'll do everything all over again. Uh, so that's about it. Thanks for watching.